So. We have a thought of the week, which, uh, I mean, bloody, I've been having too many thoughts this week, and Thakor just went and gave me two more. That was me. Week. That was me, actually. Oh, it was you. Yep. Oh, man, we've having too many thoughts. God damn. Hmm. Um, and by the way, that's an unattributed quote. I'm assuming... Yeah. I, I, that must be from Blizzard's own post, I guess. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. That's what they're saying. Hopefully it was good. Yep. Um, yep. I'm not much of a WoW esports person. I mean, I don't really mind. Right, thoughts of the week from Flex. No matter how good the changes of 9.1.5 are and how good they might be for 9.2, if base class design doesn't get touched massively with 10.0, we are in for a wild ride. Simply not enough fun from solely playing specs in the game right now. No amount of content can carry that. Following up with, a huge part of this is how little damage uh, and how meaningless classes feel outside of CDs. Yeah, man, right, okay. Where you really find this shit, I think where most people found, like, their big version of this was playing Demon Hunter and mm. feeling awful outside of meta. See, that's weird because I agree that it feels worse outside of meta, but, like, strictly speaking, gameplay-wise, it's not really massively different. Oh, yeah, it's a feel Ob thing. Yeah, it's, it's just a feel thing, which is kind of, you know, the, obviously, you know, that's a part of it. I feel like there's so many parts of this game that are just, like, kind of sleepy for most of it and then this is the the element of cds is completely insane the difference in damage i put is completely yeah. nuts but it's it's kind of weird because you think about miss of pandaria and i think about a patch uh oh yeah patch was it 5.2 where we still had readiness as hunters mm. and it was i think patch 5.3 that removed readiness where you know you do your whole opener then you pop readiness and you do your whole opener again <laughs> And for a lot of people, that was like crazy big fun. But I mean, they even got rid of it, in, you know, back then. Um, so that's an interesting thing because there are points in time where the game has been super, you know, sweaty, like in mop, yeah. where you probably could have done a lot more. Mm. Um, but maybe it's just a thing where if there people feel like there's been an overall simplification, but then they are so dependent on the big cooldowns that yeah, yeah, it's not yeah much left that, outside of it. Yeah, because what I think is interesting is. This might, uh, might, I haven't completely thought this through entirely, but generally speaking, feeling good in World of Warcraft comes from a couple different places. One of them comes from, you know, your animations, how everything feels, how everything looks, which is kind of roughly static. Unless you're like a demon hunter, then it's huge in meta or depends on which buttons you're pressing. Uh, one of the others is, you know, literally which buttons you're pressing, mm -hmm. you know, and the speed you're pressing them, which usually goes up and changes and improves during cooldowns. And then the other one is how much damage you're doing which can come across from hitting enemies that of like, you know, regular enemies and watching them melt in a Mythic Plus or something like that, or, you know, ads on a boss, or just knowing you're high on the meters. So there's kind of those little different elements, and CDs are really, really concentrated feel-good moments. Yeah. But the better, the diff, the bigger the difference between your CD and normal, the worst normal is going to feel by comparison. Yeah, I remember so, my, my CD for Ninja in FF14 was like 5% more damage. Yeah. And all these FF guides were talking about, like it was the most important thing in the world to get it right. I'm like, I'm sitting there from a web perspective, I'm like, okay, I mean, you're right, but it's 5%, come on. <laughs> come on, right? I'm, I'm used to CDs that are like, if you get that CD wrong, you're fucked. Wipe yeah. the raid and pull again for a good parse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, because obviously, uh, I guess in, in terms of damage dealing, the only uh, DPS I played sort of vaguely recently would be Red Paladin a lot. And the difference in killing something in the open world with with wings and without wings is completely different. Like, with wings, I will kill something in a couple of DCDs. Without wings, it's I'm hitting the same three buttons over and over and it's kind of boring. It feels good in wings, feels kind of slow outside wings, but it's just that thing of they really need to reconsider that and completely pull down the variance level. Because mm, yeah. feeling good is fine, but they've almost overjuiced it in that, you know, you've got these really, really cool, you know, you've got these really, really cool moments in terms of animations. Like pressing wings always feels great, especially now it's off the GCD. So you can press wings and whatever other button at the same time. That feels fantastic. So why do I also need to be doing 20% more crit damage and 20% more damage? Sorry, 20% more crit chance and 20% more damage? Why do I need that? Like, why, yeah. why do I need that and that and also Hammer of Wrath? Why can't I just feel good and have access to Hammer of Wrath? And then I won't feel so shit the rest of the time. And Rep Paladins are probably, like, not that hard done by compared to 
now you've got Venter Boomkins, you've got Fire Mages with specific uh, setups going on, and they just feel like they feel like walking gods when they've got cooldowns up, but the rest of the time they are limp noodles, you know, just, just a bit of spaghetti trying to hit someone. Right. That's what it feels like a lot of the time, and it's just it's I think it's all about that variance where try to think of ways to make to give players more things to do instead of just press one button every 30 seconds 45 seconds or a minute via cooldowns you know like kind of cooldown abilities like the kind of wake of ashes where you know every 45 seconds some extra holy power feels nice enough but where's the kind of oh my gameplay is different for a couple seconds you know where's the sure. where's the my gameplay differs more more than just boom explode it's just it feels like it definitely needs a uh, needs a look at but i feel like raid encounter designers are maybe too close to class design team in a sense because with hero and with potions and with cooldowns they're resource gameplay resource management yes what cds we have available for this bit how fast can we nuke this phase and i feel like all that stuff kind of needs a little bit of um a little bit of a little bit of a rethink overall. Pull pull variants way 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 down. Squeeze everything very nicely and give us more feel good, as opposed to feel good and also do all the damage in the universe. That also <laughs> brings me back to um, I was preach in Blackrock Foundry mm. and doing a video about like you know I do a pull, my DPS is all over the place. Yeah. I'm playing basically the same. What's going on? And it's like, oh man, if only you could see into the future when you made that video, <laughs> where yeah. you know yeah like. Uh, all of that would happen with CDs and then we get all of the like additional effects and procs and things and you know mm. then he goes from complaining about that to having a I also a big bag of marbles no his big bag you know <laughs> Mike and his big bag of dice yeah. um, and you're like yep yep it's going that way I, I think generally yeah the, the less of that stuff and the more that it's all down to like game feel the better uh, yep. for sure definitely for sure